The Registrar Voters Office says that in order to make sure your vote is counted, you have to fill out the forms carefully. And News 8's Count Me In team is here to help you do just that. Tonight, News 8's Kelly Hesedal takes us through it step by step. And we received this sample ballot from the Registrar of Voters Office. It has the presidential candidates listed, congressional candidates. It also has a number of propositions. There's a front side as well as a back side. And we have a few tips to make sure you fill out your ballot properly. So you wanna make sure that you read the instructions. Take a few minutes to go over everything carefully. There's also information in this voter information pamphlet that you should have received as well. And when you're ready to make your selections, use a pen with blue or black ink. Make sure you fill in all of the ovals completely. If you do make a mistake, there are instructions here at the top that say if you tear, deface, or wrongly mark this ballot, return it and get another so you can request a new ballot. There's also a number you can call on the outside of your envelope to request a new ballot. Make sure you place the ballot into the envelope. People actually forget to do this. And make sure that you seal the envelope properly. And here comes the really important part, and that is signing the outside of the envelope. The Registrar of Voters says a lot of people have trouble with this step. Your signature must match the signature when you register to vote. So take a look at your driver's license or your state ID and just make sure that the signatures match up. Also, don't forget to put the date on the outside of the envelope. Some people have asked if they're supposed to write their birth date. You're supposed to write the date that you actually signed the ballot. And finally, make sure that you send your ballot in on time. It must be postmarked by election day. Also, you do not need to put a stamp on the outside of your envelope. So coming up new at 6 o'clock tonight, we'll talk about other mistakes people make when sending in their mail-in ballots, and some of those mistakes may surprise you. Barbara Lee. All right, Kelly, thank you.